everyone. Welcome to my first trip report in 2022. Tonight I'm heading to Albuquerque on Delta 3826. I checked in last night, but here I am to get my boarding pass. I'm not checking a bag, although I could have for free since I'm in first class. With that in mind, let's head to the gate now. This is my first time flying out of Terminal 2. It seems very, very small compared to the other terminals I've been in here at LAX. There's still a lot of places that are closed due to COVID, but definitely it feels very busy right now compared to before. Please board at this time immediately at gate 25B door will be closing right after this message and will not reopen. I didn't have a chance to eat before I left. So I ended up paying $15 for this pizza. It's definitely not worth it. It was a bit greasy and tough. Definitely not a good choice for dinner. Unfortunately, I have no status with Delta, unlike with Asiana. I won't be able to access the Delta Sky Club because I'm only flying in domestic first class. Oh well. From the second floor, you get a nice view of the shopping and dining areas below. It's definitely quieter up here. So grab a seat here for a little more space, peace, and quiet. We would like to check in the curious. Please come and see me. It's complimentary. You will help us a lot to expedite boarding. Thank you. Continue boarding with our first class and diamond medallions. Welcome aboard for flight 3826 with turn. For tonight's flight, I'll be flying in domestic first class on the Sembrayer E-170. There are four rows of 12 seats in a 1-2 row configuration. I'll be seated in 4A, which has direct aisle access. Be aware that there's not much overhead storage bin space above this seat. The bins are a bit awkward if you have standard carry-on luggage. I ended up putting my bag over there. At our seats, we had a small bottle of water. It's always nice to have something like that in the dry air on board. It's always nice to also have some personal air vents and lights. There's no seat back entertainment, though you could access Delta Studio on your phone or tablet if you wanted. The seat is a standard first class recliner. It has 37 inches of pitch and 20 inches of width. Definitely it's a spacious and comfortable seat for me. Check it out, We're pushing back a couple of minutes early.
passing Long Beach to the left and my home. Underneath the armrest, you'll find the tray table, which pulls up and is foldable. rarely see me drinking alcohol in my videos, but for the sake of reviewing this experience, I decided to order a small bottle of white wine. The flight attendant came by with a snack basket. I ended up getting a bag of chips to go with my wine. There were some other choices, and I could have been more proactive to get another snack, as there were several choices. That's okay. Wine and chips for my luxury experience tonight. Unfortunately, the tray table was not level, folded or not, and the bottles kept sliding around. To fix that, I ended up using the napkin to keep everything from moving around. Welcome inside the laboratory on board the Embraer E-175. It's a small lab, so pay attention so you don't hit your head on anything. Any One World Flyer Squad fans watching, here's the code hook. Thirty minutes left before landing. Seat reclined, and I'm gonna take a quick nap. We'll see you later. Let's wrap the trip report up quick. First, Terminal 2 was very small and felt very crowded, but not great food choices. But other than that, the flight experience itself was fine. The seat was relatively comfortable, the temperature was good, not too hot, not too cold. It was nice to get a cup of wine, though I wish I could have chosen another snack to go with my chips. The Salt Lake City based crew was very nice and professional and the one serving us in first class was nice enough to help me get my trade table put away. Overall, it was a good experience, and I have no problems flying Delta Connection for future short haul flights like this.
thanks for joining me tonight. We'll see you next time.